Okay, so we're going to start this conversation about domain and range again, and we're going to, it's, this conversation is going to come up throughout the semester. So let's roll back to our first two graphs. Okay, so domain and range is our conversation here. So with domain and range, the thing that we want to keep in mind is that our domain is our x values. And our range is our y values. So my way of discussing domain and range is to, it's a process. And so it, it, I kind of tell myself a story. So if I wanted to look at my domain, my domain, I'm going to highlight in yellow, my domain is what's going on side to side on my graph. My domain is what are the x's that work? So what I say to myself is I say, okay, well, I'm going to go stand right here. This is me. I'm standing at the center of this graph right here at the origin. And I say to myself, if I look off here to the left, if I look out towards negative infinity on the x-axis, if I look up, I don't see my graph. If I look down, I see my graph. My graph is down here. It's going very quickly. It's, it's going down very quickly, but you'll notice even as it goes down, it's also coming out. It's continuing to go out towards negative infinity. So as I looked out towards negative infinity, this, this figurative space, this, this imaginative space of negative infinity, I can look down and I would see my graph. My graph would be way down here. So in this case here, my domain for this particular guy would be negative infinity. It would start at negative infinity. I would turn, I go back to the origin. I turn and I look the other way. I look out this way towards the po towards positive infinity on the x-axis. And as I look out, I notice that when I look down below the, the x-axis, I don't see anything. But I notice when I look up, I see my graph. I see my graph going up. It goes up, it goes up, it keeps on going up. And as it's going up, it's also coming out. So that means my domain will also go to pause infinity. So my domain for this particular function is all real numbers, which the way that my math lab wants it is in interval notation like so. Remember this is called interval notation. But in words, this right here says all real numbers. So now I flip over and I go the other way. So now I go, and I go back to my origin, and I'm going to look at my y-axis, which is my range. So I stand at the origin, I look down towards negative infinity, and as I look down, I can clearly see that my graph is going down, and it's going to go down, and it's going to go down forever. So my, my range starts at negative infinity. I go back to the origin, I turn around, and I look up, and as I'm looking up, I notice that if I look to the left, I don't see anything. But if I look to the right, bam, there's my graph going up and up and up and up towards positive infinity. So once again, my domain and range are all real numbers for both in interval notation. We take a look at the second guy right here. We see the same thing. Our domain and range would be the same for this one because as I came to the origin and I looked off to the left, I go to negative infinity. Right, so this look goes off to the left. As I'm looking out, I can notice my graph is out. It's coming, even though it's going down, it's also coming out at the same time. Right, coming out. I turn around and look the other way, and I can clearly see that as I keep looking at this thing, even though as it keeps going this way towards positive infinity, it's also going up, but it's going out. I come back to the origin, I look down towards negative infinity. Same deal as I look down, you know, yeah, sure, it's, it's not coming down over here, but it is coming down on this side, so my range will be from negative infinity. I turn around, I look up, and initially I don't see anything, especially on the left there's nothing if I look up towards positive infinity. But if I look to the right, I can see that over time, even though this guy is coming out really fast, he's also coming up, 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 and he'll keep going up forever, and so it would be all real numbers also. When I turn the page and I take a look at these special graphs, these vertical lines and these horizontal lines, my domain and range uh, discussion changes because my domain for this guy is one value. That's negative two. The only x value that is used in this function is negative two, whereas my range would be negative infinity to positive infinity because this thing goes all the way down and it goes all the way up. 
Whereas on this guy, my domain is all real numbers. Because as I look out this way, he goes out towards negative infinity. As I look out that way, it goes out towards positive infinity. Whereas my range is one value. And notice that I'm using the, the not brackets and not parentheses. I'm using my set notation here. And in this case here, my y value is only equal to 4. So quick run through on domain and range. They're going to ask you that. And you can practice that in your homework. That wraps us up for the day.